cool welcome back so now we're going to be talking about problem 1b where we're going to be implementing this play many times method so um, we're going to be using our helper method play where we don't really see the implementation but that doesn't really matter and so just like before let's start off with some pseudocode to sort of get the lay of the land to understand what we want to accomplish so let's get rid of this so the whole point of this method is we want to return the highest score earned. So that means that we want to have some sort of variable that will keep track of what the maximum score is at this point in time. So initialize um, variable for max score. Cool. The next thing we need to do is we need to play the game num number of times where num is this parameter that's being passed in so play the game num times so um as it says in the problem after we call play we can then call get score to return the score earned in the single simulated play of the game so um what that means is when you call play the next time you call get score immediately after that you're going to get the how many points you got from playing the game if you called play and then you called get score three times you would get that same score for the last play so you have to keep calling play to get a new score so play the game num times and then get the score from that game um and now remember we're keeping track of the maximum score so we can compare that to the maximum score to let's call it the current maximum score if it's greater we want to set that to the current maximum score awesome um, and then there's just one more thing we need to do here and that is to return the maximum score because remember our play many times method returns an int so we want to we did all this work to find the maximum score we want to also return it to whoever called the play many games method cool let's dive into the actual code from the pseudocode now so initializing a variable for max score because we're returning an int because get score returns an int this is probably going to be shocking an int um, let's call this max score and I'm going to initialize this to zero the reason why I'm initializing it to zero is um, let's say is um, zero is kind of a good number to start off with because you know um, you don't want to set your max score to like 100 or something and then every single one of your plays has a, a score of under 100 and then you messed it up so in general when you're Try and find the maximum zero is a good number to start off with um play the game num times so this signals to me that we're sort of repeating something over and over again so that should be a really good indicator of a for loop so for int i equals zero so um how many times do we want to run through this loop how many times do we want to call play and then get the score and then compare the score to the max score we want to do i is less than num so what that means is if num is three we're going to be calling it one two three times as we keep incrementing our i plus plus right starting at zero um which is great um you can initialize this to one if you want and then you have to add one here but you know, i just like zero indexed stuff Cool. So, playing the score num times. Move my pseudo code in there. Um, so, the first thing we want to do is we want to call that play method because then we can actually get the score from that play method from that game. So, we want to store that inside of a variable as well so that we can compare it later on. Uh, play equals get score cool there okay 
Now we want to compare that to the current max store. So if score is greater than max score, what we want to do is we want to set that to the current max score. So then we're going to be re assigning max score to be score. Um, and notice we're not doing greater than or equal to. That's, I mean, you could if you want to. It's a little bit pointless because what you're going to be doing is, let's say, the current score is 50 and the max score is 50 and it goes into this. It's just going to set max score equal to that. Um, so you don't have to set that equal, greater than or equal to. Strictly greater than is technically more efficient, but whatever you want to do. Cool. So then we set it equal to that max score. That looks great. And then last but not least, we want to actually return the max score. Cool. Um, and one thing to point out here is the first time I approached this problem, I did math.max instead of doing like this if statement. Um, make sure you're checking the little sheet of methods that you're allowed to use because math.max was not on that sheet and I think I would have gotten points off if I had tried to submit that as an answer. So um, make sure you're not using anything that's not allowed. Okay, so we've got this code. Now we got an example situation in the problem itself. Uh, play many times was passed in with four um, and we got the score 75, 50, 90, 20 then the method should return 90. So let's go ahead and run through our code and see if it actually works. So um, on our first iteration of the for loop, i equals zero, i is less than four, that's true. So we go into the for loop, we call play, and then we call get score. So the score from the first game is 75. 75 is greater than zero, which is our current max score. So now we're setting max score equal to 75. Awesome. Uh, we go back to the start of the for loop. We increment our i to 1. i is 1 is still less than 4. So we go inside the for loop. We get the score for the current game. It's 50. 50 is actually not greater than 75. So our max score is still 75. Awesome. Go back to the start of the for loop, i equals 2, which is less than 4. We keep moving on. We play the game, we get the score. The score of that game is 90. 90 is greater than our current max score of 75, so we set the max score equal to 90. We go back up to the, the for loop, uh, i is now 3, i, is, I is equals 3 is less than 4. We play the game, we get the score from that game, which is 20. 20 is not greater than 90 so we still have our max score set equal to 90 and then we go back up to the top start of the for loop we have i equals 4 i equals 4 is not greater is not less than 4 um so that means we don't go into the for loop again we've got our max score of 90 and we return that number and wouldn't you know it that is exactly what should have happened so i'm i'm satisfied with this solution. Let's go ahead and get rid of our pseudocode. So here's what it looks like after I got rid of all the pseudocode. Um, initializing that variable, running a for loop to do things num number of times, comparing the score to the max score, setting the max score equal to that score if it's greater than, and then referring it. Yeah, so that is the implementation for play many times.